Okay, we're back. The uh, wax is drying quickly. This uh, Novice 2 product is great. There's no waiting around. I mean, it's just been a couple minutes, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's, it's all hazed up. So I'm going to start uh, taking the wax off. I'm going to start over here in one spot. <clears throat> I'm going to do it carefully now because I want to get it all off. As you can see, there's buildup of wax, and it takes some of the dirt off with it, so if there's any. So just kind of move that rag around constantly and have more rags made up because you don't want to rub the, the wax all the way in too much. You want to kind of just get a coating on there. Now some people use a machine, a buffer, but uh, I like to uh, get that rag clean because when you get some of that wax off, you want to use the clean part. And you can feel it getting smooth. I'm kind of doing behind the flippers. I'll show you. I'm kind of doing it here like this behind the flippers. And down in here. And it's flipping that rag again. And they're really lustering up now. You can really see what I'm talking about here. Put that back because we're going to move along anyway up the So I take my time. I enjoy waxing. But when you have 45 machines, it becomes a more a necessity type of job thing than enjoyment. But being that the Royal Guard is going to be going to a new home, I don't mind waxing it now. And uh, getting it ready. Because I guess today is Friday. Today is, no, today is Thursday, I'm sorry. Tomorrow is Friday. So that rag's kind of, I have to open it up and go back in here and get it clean again. you got to constantly, if you don't constantly change, unfold the rag and go back and don't, don't feel, feel free to push on that target, not too hard. But uh, the more you rub, the shinier it gets. So just staying in one spot here, trying to get my bearing straight. Just tilt it this way. Kind of get in here, behind here, and down. Kind of push down because these pegs here, they'll, they'll cut your finger right open, and you'll be bleeding like crazy, and then you won't be able to wax. You got to kind of push down on them and not push back on them. Know that they're sharp and they only go in one direction. They go down, they don't go forward. So you got to be really careful when you uh, run your finger over there. You know, let me just back so you can really see the coloring on this. So once you wax, get the wax. And we didn't really put that much wax down here either. You don't need it because there's no action. No action. But I can see there's a haze there. We had enough wax on there, so it's looking good. It's starting to really buff up nice. I'm going to get in every corner that I can with my thumb and really rub it. And i got to get down in there where the ball is where we put wax. So we don't want the ball to pick up wax. So you want to get all the wax off play feel. You want to keep your ball free of wax. So you want to do a good job of getting all the wax off of the play feel. And you stay in one section so you remember. Yeah, you got to get your finger in that edge there. Kind of your nail. 
I use my nail in there and I get in the edge and over up and around that the wax likes to hide over here behind these little turns and over here too this turn here it likes to and you want to check the rag, the rag looks pretty good, you want to change it just turn it around and use a clean side again and then go over all your work make sure you don't feel any wax on the rag when you you could tell it's all smooth this really buffs it up okay now we're going to work our way up here Let me if I can turn this down here we go all right it's on a tripod that's even better so now we're just going to work that haze off you can see it watch this green here see the green the difference see the top over here it's got the wax so you can feel the wax coming off you want to get the rag the secret is you want to look on the play field make sure you can see that wax coming off onto the rag and flip it flip it again and always keep flipping your your rag now I'm using some pressure though. I'm using, I'm pushing down on my fingers with some pressure so I can remove the wax and make it shine. So uh, again, we want to just kind of switch it to another side. And I'll get another clean rag after this side because I probably used all the sides up already. But remember, you have to keep cleaning the, keep flipping the rag or the little piece of paper towel that I have. You got to flip it to the clean side. All right, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, <coughs> get another piece of white paper towel, <coughs> and they're small, as you can see. I rip them, and I just fold them, and I kind of make a little homemade pad. Now this one's going to be more narrow because I'm going to go up and down on the uh, between the bumpers, pop bumpers in here. And I'm going to go up and down in here the letter and the rollovers with that size paper. See that size paper works great for rollovers because I did come down. You want to get all that wax you can put on that metal wire and switch here. This nice and clean and shiny they are. That's because it's low plate and they've been well cared for it. Yeah, these little rollover switches, you got to clean them good. Make sure there's no wax on them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Q-tip and I'll clean these with a Q-tip when I'm done. But they're real nice and, see, nice and, they're set perfect underneath there. All these switches were set up perfect so there's good flexibility. The ball rides over it easily. And uh, it works. They'll work great. There's a lot of wax in there. I'm gonna get my fingers in there and get it out. Now you could even use that little stick that I have. I have these sticks. They work great. You can get really in there with the stick. Now as you put it on the stick, but you gotta be careful. You gotta remember that you're on a stick and not get too crazy. So you can get really underneath there and get where you gotta go. What was that? So you can use the stick when you have to get into the really there we go. I got that tripod. Anyway, this is looking really good up here. Once you don't cut yourself on this piece of metal here too, 
can cut yourself on that your top of your finger so be careful when you're rubbing pretty hard up here so you really want to get that that wax nice on there Then we can change the rag over. Just flip the rag. Okay, we're going to have to flip this rag now. Flip this rag. And here we go, we got more clean area. And uh, we're just going to work our way around here. Because you have to remember where you're at all the time. Okay, so we got most of it off. Now we're going to get a bigger piece of paper because we want to wipe around the pop peppers, even the ring over here, that silver ring. I don't know if you can see it. That's hard to see. I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera so much. But uh, you get the idea. I want to clean this plastic and the skirt, the plastic around the pop bumper, and the and the metal ring under the pop bumper. So we need a bigger. We need a bigger. So I'm just going to make the paper a little bigger so that I can do the pop up. I can hold the whole piece in there and get it in there. Now I'm doing the plastic, so I do both. I do the plastic ring that sits on the clear mylar plastic ring that sits on the play field that protects that white paint underneath the yellow skirt. The skirt I'm doing too, and now I'm doing the ring on top. I'm pulling up on the top of the pop bumper. I'm doing this metal ring up here. And now we're going to move over to this one. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. We're going to do... I got my fingers are underneath the skirt in here and it's acting like a cushion so that I can really take the wax off the plastic rings sometimes I lift up a little bit with the ring and go around there just to here and get whatever's underneath there out but there's nothing underneath there as you can see it's so clean you're really not doing nothing but putting wax on and waxing everything up so we're going to do the skirt on a green pop bumper. It's nice and shiny now and we're doing the ring. This metal ring here. Um, you can hear it clicking with my finger. So we did two pop bumpers. We'll just wipe these lightly and we'll move over and do these other two pop bumpers here. The purple and the red. So we got to get the wax off the plastic mylar ring. I got the rag underneath the, the pop bumper skirt, the red pop bumper skirt. I have it underneath there. I want to get whatever's underneath there out. There really ain't nothing, but I'm waxing everywhere I can possibly wax, even underneath things. And I'm waxing this skirt now, and now I'm going to do the ring, this metal ring. You can see it on that camera now, that shot I just showed you. I'm going to clean up the lip of that ring, even though that, that ring's been polished and buffed with a buffer. And yes, and now we're going to do the same thing over here. 
and get that wax that I put underneath there. Blue purple, doing the mylar clear ring. Now we're going to do the skirt. And now we're going to do the middle ring. There's the ring, I can do it. Sometimes I just leave it up because I can press it up against the top of the bumper. And sometimes I'll just go underneath here. That's underneath that. I don't want to stretch that plastic too much. Lace flat and nice. Anyway, so I'm going to go back and do all over here. I can see wax. You can see it with your eye. Make sure you get it all. And uh, pop uppers are done, so you just want to go through them now. I don't want to pull that plastic. Now, not only does the wax protect the play field, but the wax gives the ball more speed. Much more speed. The wax gives the ball much more speed. So I'm just going to go back up here a little bit. With the top arch. i got to remind myself I have to do the ball runway. Definitely, the more you rub, really it busts it out. So I could see that with my eye. You can see it with the naked eye that it shines up nicer when you spend some time on it and really buff it out. Now, I don't really like to use the machine because the machine can't get in where your fingers can. Your fingers are a much better tool than. Uh, the buffer wheel. So, uh, probably getting bored of watching me wax you probably get the idea so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune out I don't want to bore you and uh, I will uh, continue to buff after I sign off here because I want to go and look I go down to the side I look on all the way down here I try to look with my eye I bend down and I look at the play field with my eye closer I can really see but as you can see, Playfield looks beautiful now. Look at that shine. Unbelievable. I'm going to shut one light off maybe and see if that looks better. Still it's that light. Let me see. Well, that helped. So really now I want to get a close up. How nice. How nice that. Yeah, now you can see. Just how nice the wax gives a, a gleam to the game. Sorry for the camera moving so fast, but I am on a tripod still. That's a little better. You know, I should give you, a, while I'm here, like I said, I'm going to sign out, but when we come back, 
being that the glass is off, maybe I will uh, go over again the gameplay and the sequence and how you get special and what targets do what and what letters do what, what ABC. I'm going to come back and we'll go over that again. But uh, meanwhile, I'm going to finish my buffing out of the play field. And uh, then we'll be back to uh, do game operation and sequence. Okay, Vic Camp going out.